Today, I want to talk to you about how to create bulletproof knees anywhere. It's so funny, I was talking to Forrest and I've been doing this for so long. So it's hard for me to realize that a lot of people still don't have this information. So many people still experience knee pain, back pain, hip pain, and don't have the answers. So today I want to kind of talk about specifically about knees and how to anybody anywhere can create bulletproof knees. And I mean anybody anywhere. I'm somebody that is 45 this year and has played high school, college, professional sport, have really had extreme, extreme knee pain throughout my career, you know? And I'm at a point now where my knees feel better than when I was at my highest, you know? So uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how you can create the strongest knees possible. Starting off, flossing is a big modality that I did use. I don't even use it no more. I can wake up out the bed and go sprint or dunk or run at this point, but Early on, when I had extreme knee pain, when I had knee tendonitis, flossing was a modality that I used. And that's just wrapping up the floss bands around your knee and really creating that uh, blood flow restriction. Once you, once you have create that blood flow restriction, your body flushes fresh blood, fresh oxygen to that area, which stimulates healing. And before I used to work out, before I did the sleds, before I did my step ups, I would actually floss. So, that's something you can do both knees at the same time. I get that question. I have articles on my website where you can check out, but uh, flossing is numero uno. This a little bit about why I'm doing this video is because I, I go around and I've been traveling and it's so many people with knee pain. And one thing that I feel like is so important is health. You know, and I know everybody, I know that's too close, so cliche. Health is your greatest wealth. Health is your biggest investment. But I don't really feel like a lot of people really truly understand that or take that serious. It's priceless for me to be able to run and jump and play with my sons. I got a 20 year old and a 17 year old son. And to be able to run and jump and play with them, that's priceless. And to be able to get out of my bed and walking up down the stairs, I take it for granted a lot of times. But a lot of people just have pain just in everyday movements. And, and so your, your body and your mind is, is, that's your number one technology. If that's healthy, then sky's the limit. So I'll get off my soapbox and kind of start about how to create the healthiest version of needs possible to take you in your body to do whatever you want. Flossing is step number one. And then next is sled. And the reason why you want to do sled is anybody can get started and it's an easy, very low impact way for you to reverse. So this is like reversing out knee pain. If you don't have a sled, you can get on a dead mill, you can just walk up a hill, but anybody, if you have pain, you can start very slow and really work where you don't, do not feel that pain anymore. So baby steps, baby steps. And, and through this video, I'm gonna talk about how there's a gradient for any and everybody to start. And so it's a step-by-step -step strategic way where you're gonna build from the ground up and create bulletproof needs. And this is something that I wish I'd have known about a long time ago. I wish I'd have, I wish I'd have known about this a long time ago. But, no better time than the present. You're learning now with me and we are going to create a world with healthy need. Backward sled, kind of starting very, very slow, very methodical, baby steps. Even if you don't have any weight, even if you don't even use a sled, just start very slow walking backwards. So floss your knees, use a sled, walk backwards. What you're doing when you're walking backwards, you are kind of reversing out that, that knee pain and strengthening what you call here your VMO, which is vastus medialis oblique. And that's the muscle that protects those knees. And so I'll, ta I'll talk about the ligaments and tendons behind your knee. But first and foremost, backward sleds. If you don't know how to sled, grab a band or just figure out a way just to walk backwards. Step two, doing those sleds, you're warming up that VMO, right? The vastus medialis oblique. You're gonna hear me say that word a lot. Just like the sled, you're walking backwards. This is another way to kind of isolate that VMO is just elevate that heel 
with the VMO board, controller coming down and press up. Control coming down, press up. As I'm saying this, I wanna show you the gradients that you can do with each and, each and every one of these exercises. So this will be step one. If, if, if you had knee pain there, you would even go lower. And you would just, boom, just slow, just slow and methodical, no, no weight. 25 on this side, 25 on this side. Once you feel like you can do that, you continue to create a, a more of a steeper incline and then you can start to go up. So raising it up a little bit gives you a little more tension on that muscle and you can just drive up. And so I recommend six inches incline, control it. Once you're six inches height, then you can start to add weights. You can grab some dumbbells. I kind of should show you. And the thing about this, it's not only going to strengthen those knees, protect those knees for a lifetime. It's going to make you a superior athlete as well. Because just imagine if you know that your knees are strong and there's pretty much virtually no way you can hurt those knees, how hard and how you can play with just reckless abandonment. And what I recommend is kind of really controlling, kind of slow going down drive up. So kind of slow going down, drive up. That really helps you fire that VMO up. Anybody can do it. Get out on the curb. If you don't have a VMO board, you can come on a dumbbell. There's really no excuses. Obviously, I want to get Mr. Infinity out there to the world. You can find a way. Like, there's no excuses. Don't wait for the VMO board to come in the mail to get started strengthening that VMO and get on your journey of bulletproof knees. So first, floss. Second, sled, third, infinity, let's call these infinity step up. Control it, coming down, elevate that heel. If you have knee pain, I recommend two to three times a week, three sets of 25 reps. Really wanna rep it out, really wanna wake that muscle up and really, really get in there and start to tell your body, hey, I want strong ass knees, I wanna be able to jump, I wanna be able to run, I wanna be as athletic as possible. Let's make that happen. So communicate with your body and it will respond back to you. All right, so next, You've warmed your VMO up, and now, now we're really getting to the workout, and we'll start to build our body from the ground up. One muscle that is rarely worked, or a lot of people, you working it unconsciously, but having intentionally strengthened and built for knee protection is your tibialis muscle. So your tibialis muscle is a muscle that runs opposite your calf, and so a lot of people are always doing calf raises, but really rarely do work that tibialis. And so that's another exercise that anybody can do to get on a journey of bulletproof knees. I'll just kind of show, show you right here that you can just go against any wall, have your back off the wall and just kind of squeeze up. I like to keep my quads contracted, point those toes down and come up. You do three sets of 20 of those, you'll really start to feel that VMO. If it's too hard, you walk those feet back in. If that's too easy, you bring those feet out further and point those toes down, get a deep stretch. You'll, still, you'll feel a stretch to this tibialis. You come up and squeeze. So you point those toes down, coming up and squeeze. These are great if you don't have a tib bar. This is not as measurable as having a tib bar, but all in all, this is something anybody can do. And the reason why you wanna strengthen that tibialis muscle up is because that's your first line of defense. If I'm running, if I'm jumping, if I'm walking, a lot of runners end up having a lot of knee pain because they never strengthen this tibialis muscle up. If you don't have a strong tibialis when I'm running, when I'm jumping, all that impact, all that impact is going boom, boom, straight to your knee. And you don't have this muscle to protect you. And so I'm, I'm gonna pull this bench out here, I'll show you. So today I put like 35 pounds on here. I recommend you getting up to Quarter your body weight, quarter your body weight, 20 reps. For the video purposes, I got 35 pounds on here. This is a tip bar. You're gonna point those toes down. You'll get a stretch through those ankles. This is really good for your ankles. And you come up and you squeeze. I'm good here for? Pull toes down, coming up and squeeze. And so this is really strengthening opposite your calf, your first line of defense. So you're really getting a deep stretch of those ankles. Up, squeeze to that tibialis. Deep stretch of those ankles, coming up. 
Do that tibialis. So I'll do a quick set here. Boom. Boom. It actually feels good. You really isolate that muscle. Tibialis is so important for knee health. And it's, it's crazy how good I feel, man. Just every day walking around, sprinting, playing basketball. And uh, that's not always been the case. And, and I'm not always that consistent. I have so much work. But just from doing these simple exercises consistently over the years has really gave me strong knees. So next is the split squat. And I'm going to show you what that looks like from a beginner. So I want everybody to really, and if you got questions, please write the questions down so I can uh, be more precise next time I do the video. So anybody, anybody can do these exercises. It's never too late. So next exercise is split squat. The higher the, that leg comes up, the easier it is. One thing in our society, we do a lot of sitting. And when you're sitting for long periods of time, you, you're telling your body to stop being full range of motion, stop being efficient. So you, you, you stop doing that knee bend and you stop opening those hips up. So your body gets comfortable in this position. And so a lot of people have hip tightness, knee pain, back pain because this position is not natural for us. So the split squat, you put your leg up on the surface. You just kind of just lean forward. And the key is to have your hamstring kind of cover your calf. And, and for those that need help, you can have a, a cane, you can hold on to something. And all this is on my app too. If you really want a, a, a set program, you can go to my app, which I'll link in the description. So what I'm doing here is telling my body, hey, I'm gonna start doing full range of motion again. I need you to wake up. Telling your body, hey, we gotta wake up, fellas. He's, he's, starting, he's starting to get back. We need more mobility. And so what's it doing is pushing, right now it's producing synovial fluid, fluid for your body to really just like oil in a car. It's producing something called, it's a literal term called synovial fluid, which helps your body create those, long, those ranges and really get deep into those into those ranges. I've seen people come with a platform even higher than this and after time have been able to do this, this movement on a flat ground. So anybody can get started here. And it's funny, I've seen like high school kids this tight where they, 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 they can't even, their hips are so bound up, they can't even get in there. So the key is to kind of cover that, that hamstring up with your calves. If you need this, take that. If you don't need it, just kind of press here. You can start to add weights, which allows you to kind of get deeper into that hip. As you get here, you kind of want to open that back leg up just a little bit. You'll really feel that hip flexor open up. And so this is where I comes in. Once you get, once you, once you get good at that, you can kind of continue to come closer and closer to the ground. And so I recommend even adding these, these VMO wedges, kind of even get a deeper deeper stretch in there, kind of getting that ankle out of there and really getting deeper through that hip. And so you'll feel that if you did this once a week, it would change your life. And so I recommend getting lower and lower, elevate that heel with the VMO wedges. You kind of dry that knee down, chest up, hold it there. I will hold for three seconds and then kind of drive up. push that knee forward, what you're doing, producing, producing synovial fluid. You cover that calf over that hamstring, chest up, open that back leg up, hold for three seconds, drive up. Once you get good at that, to start to add weights. And, I'm, and I guarantee you, over time, you'll get more and more mobility. Knee pain will be a thing of the past. So flossing, sled, infinity step up, tibialis raises, split squat. Split squats are, are vital, vital, vital for opening those hips up and, and strengthening and building out those knees. The stronger and further you can get that knee over that toe, the healthy and more protected those your knees are. So the further and the stronger, stronger meaning the more weight you can add, driving that knee over that toe, chest up. The healthier and more protected 
your knees are. I don't know if you heard back in the day, don't let your knee over your toe. All you're telling your body is, I don't need that range anymore, you know? And a lot of people, it's funny, this brings me to a point. A lot of people make fun of me on my videos. Ah, oh, man, you weak, you don't got no legs, you skinny. Being athletic and big are two different things. Being big is just pumping up iron. But what, what that does over time, you lose a lot of range and you lose a lot of mobility. Yeah, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but a lot of times, if you don't go through these full ranges, then you end up almost getting weak. So you can be super big, super massive, but you can be weak. So make sure what I call strength through length is the most important. It's full range of motion, full range of motion, which create longer, leaner, stronger, muscles so even if you are a big guy even if you want to be super massive and super jacked do those exercises in a full range of motion you know just just for your longevity purposes and now i'm gonna bring you something i'm pretty excited about so this here is a product called the nordex this is something i'm extremely extremely excited about you know it's the first first of its kind i feel like this is the best piece of equipment in the last 45 years, you know? And, and I don't know what happened before that because I'm only 45. Since I've been living, there's, ne there's never been a piece of equipment that is, is more effective than this. The amount of things that you can do, the amount of benefits that it has is, is unbelievable. Your posterior chain, which is your hamstring, your glutes, your back, your calves, posterior meaning behind, takes up 70 to 75% of your overall athleticism. And this is the ultimate posterior chain tool. Let's start why, why it's so important for this exercise. Knee surgeries and knee pain and just knee issues is a global epidemic. It's pretty crazy how many people walk around with knee pain. There's ligaments and tendons behind your knee. This is such a well-made product, man, it's crazy. Even if it wasn't mine, I'd be like, man, this is really well-made. So there's ligaments and tendons behind your knee, which protect your knee from ACL injuries, MCL, meniscus tears. And if you do not strengthen these ligaments and tendons behind that knee, your knee is susceptible and vulnerable to injury. You know, if you get hit a certain way, if those ligaments and tendons are not strong and developed, you are at risk. Like you said, we all play sports. We all want to be athletic. We all want to be active, but you got to have your body prepared and ready for those activities, you know? And, and like I said, I didn't, I didn't know about this, this machine until I was 40 years old. Hence why I had knee pain. Hence why I used to have MCL sprains and ACL sprains. But since I've done this, Nilch, zilch, I should say, right? I just, did I make, did I make up nilch? <laughs> Pretty tough, though. So anybody can get started. Resist as you come down. Right there, you'll feel those hamstrings burn up, and you'll see these ligaments and tendons start to fire up. So you'll be here. You just kind of resist coming down, and once you can no longer resist, you just push yourself up. I would say, kind of start like that. Resist, 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 resist. Just push yourself up. So that's something anybody can just kind of get started doing. So you put it in like this. So this right here is a assisted Nordic. A lot of people can't do Nordics. And so instead of having to push yourself up, you can kind of get in here like this, resist yourself down, and just kind of push yourself up. You resist yourself down, and once you once you can just once you don't want to have to push yourself up, you can just come up just like that. So just resist yourself down, come up. Once you start getting better at that, you bring this down a little more. Resist yourself down, strengthen those ligaments and tendons behind that knee. Push yourself up. Once you feel like you're ready to not have to push yourself up, resist yourself down. Drive up, continue, you can keep coming down as much as you can until you're ready to do a full flat ground Nordic. The goal, if you if the goal to really have bulletproof knees is to be able to do 10 flat ground Nordics. This right here, we're still working on this model. This is uh, pretty much done. Pre-order showgunsports.com. This goes right here. It's funny, for it, you don't even have to edit this. You can just be like, whoop. We right, we right in there. This goes here. And now I'm ready to do a flat ground. Nordic, anybody can get started. No excuses, you can just 
Resist yourself down, push yourself up. Once you're ready, you can do a come all the way down. Come up, come all the way down. Come up, come all the way down. Come up, come all the way down. Come up. Really strengthening those hamstrings. Really strengthening those hamstrings. Really strengthening those ligaments behind that knee. The goal is to be able to do 10 flat ground Nordics and you'll have bulletproof knees. So Nordics, beyond worth the price. We actually having a uh, pre-order sale. Depending on when you see this video, right now it's April 23rd. Shout out to Forrest, he had a birthday. Shout out to my sister, had a birthday yesterday. Shout out to these twins, had a birthday yesterday. Posterior chain is huge. Flexibility is huge. I know you guys probably like, damn, all these exercises that have bulletproof knees, it's worth it, I'm telling you. If you just do this once a week, your knees will be stronger than 99.9% .9 of the population. People, for one, they don't know this information, and for two, a lot of people just don't have the kahunas to even do it. You are watching this, you've made it this far in the video, and so you really are different. You wanna be great. You know how important health and you know how beneficial it is just to feel good, man. Feel good now. If your health ain't right, like all you thinking about all day is health. Like you can't even make money. You can't really be in a relationship. You can't really live your life if, if you're not healthy. So next, last one, as exercises are concerned for bulletproof knees, and this is gonna help you overall, it's a Jefferson curl. And so why I added this is the importance of kind of opening up that entire posterior chain. I can wake out the bed, wake up out the bed, and like, a lot of this stuff is just so natural to me. I'm like, damn, people can't do that? I can wake out the bed and put my palms on the, on the ground. And if you can't do that, there's a problem. You're bound up, you're tight, your back is tight, and you're gonna end up having hip pain, back pain, and you're gonna, you're gonna not know why. You're gonna pay hundreds of dollars to go to a chiropractor. You're gonna be online studying why my hips and back hurting. And all you gotta do is just open up your posterior chain. It's that simple, just it's, your hamstrings are tight. You have, you, you might be something in your, in your back area here. You might be a spine issue. If you can't wake up out the bed and put your palms on the ground, that's a problem. The Jefferson Curl is gonna fix that. All that money you're gonna send a chiropractor, you cash at me. Dollar sign Mr. Infinity with the ones. All right. So you're gonna tuck that chin in, roll that spine down, and come here. A lot of people I see, you, 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 you would think I'm joking, but they'll stop right here. Engage that, those abs around that spine up, roll those shoulders back, head up. So even just kind of starting here, tuck those abs in, tuck that chin in, round that spine down, kind of fold. Eventually you'll start to kind of get deeper and deeper and deeper and then engage those abs, stack that spine. Imagine you stacking that spine one on top of the other. Head should be elastic and come up. So eventually, you'll start to add weight. Before I get somebody to sue me here, start very, very, very extremely light. And so just to help you open up that posterior chain a little bit, tuck that chin in, you can grab just a little bit of weight. You and try to put the pressure more on the balls of your feet until you're here, round that spine up. You'll have those weights in. But the goal, I'm pretty tight, I don't know if I can do it, but the goal here is to get those wrists past those toes. The goal here, obviously for the Nordics, is 10 flat ground Nordics. For the split quad, it's flat ground. For the sled, it's your body weight. But for the Jefferson curl, it's to get those wrists past those toes. Once you get those wrists past those toes, that is, the formula for bulletproof knees. So I may need to add some weight here, but you're gonna tuck that chin in, round that spine down slow. Let me know if I get it, for. So here, wrist past those toes, tuck that chin in, round that spine up slow. Coming up, and so I would recommend a set of Three sets of eight. And let's kind of let those arms just kind of relax. Lean forward if you can. Coming up. And I promise you, you'll feel like a different person. You'll feel like a different person. So what that's doing is opening up your hamstrings, your glutes, your low back. Kind of opening all that, allowing that spine to even breathe a little more deeply. Last thing, and I know you're probably getting tired of looking at me. 
This is, this is, this is crucial. I know I say this about everything, but this is crucial. Couch stretch. I won't go, I won't go to the wall, I'll just use this bench here. So think couch, like having your foot up on the couch. I'll do it like this, go forward so you can see me. Mr. Infinity Pads, you can use this for a lot of different things, but right now I'm just using it for my knee. So couch stretch. If you can go to the wall, I, I actually prefer going to the wall doing it. You can just kind of be here. I'll do it like this. I usually go to the wall, but here, have your knee here. So what, what this is doing here is a lot of times people, if you just have knee tendonitis or just kind of agging knee pain, it, it has a large part to do is you are tight between your knee and your hip. So your quad is pulling. So if your quad is pulling, then that's where that knee tendonitis comes from because your quad is bound up and therefore a lot of inflammation happens right underneath that kneecap. And so that's called knee tendonitis. So here, doing this, something called a couch stretch, allows you to really get deep, deep into that quad and kind of sit in it and just kind of hold yourself there. You'll feel that hip and you'll really feel that quad open up. So I recommend sitting in this stretch for like two minutes each side. And if you got knee pain, I would do this every day. I would do this every day, twice a day um, to really open that up. Tell your body, man, I'm going to loosen you up. You can kind of let up on me with the pain. I got the, I got the message. You told me I'm tight. I need to open these hips up. I need to put some flexibility in my quad. I got the memo. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do it. Knee pain is gone. Cow stretch, extremely important. If you got knee tendonitis, most likely you're really super tight between your knee and your hip. The split squat to help that, a static stretch to really alleviate that pain would be couch stretch. So I know I'm pretty long-winded. I appreciate my guy Forrest. I appreciate you guys watching. Bulletproof those knees is beyond important. There's no word I could even think of. It's ineffable, that's the word. It's ineffable. There's, there's nothing you can speak of to quantify the importance of being healthy, feeling good in your body, and really allowing you to be the creator that you are. Like, let's not think about health. Let's not think about our needs. Let's think about being abundantly wealthy. Let's think about being the best creator, the best artist, the best musician, the best basketball player we can be. Uh, because we did the work, we established a good foundation in our body. We know how to train our body properly. This knowledge is really haven't been out there, you know? So I feel like personally, I'm a pioneer to this game, the pioneer to really getting this information out there to the world to, to say, hey, we don't have to have knee pain. We don't have to have back pain. We don't have to have hip pain. We can really rise above that. You know, we can ascend above this materialistic, bound up, tight culture and really figure out a way to open up and expand and rise above, man, what, what's the norm, I should say. It's normal to be, if I was 45 and somebody asked me, I'd be like, yeah, man, I, my knee hurt, bro. I can't, I can't hoop like that. That'd be normal. That'd be normal. They'd be like, all right, man, he's 45. He, he probably, he probably had a, he was probably a man in his day though. You know, he probably was a man in his day. You know what I mean? I could probably talk like shit. When I was 22, you gotta be dunking on all y'all. Talk is cheap. My thing is, man, only now exists. It's just a constant version of now. So you either got life habits or you got death habits. Let's take the construct of time out of it. You know what I mean? Stop telling yourself time exists. You got life habits and you got death habits. Which way, which, which, which path you wanna go down? It's a long video. I'll keep talking because I'm, if I'm gonna do a long video, I'm gonna get it all out. <laughs> get these products from your boy. Right now, you get them at ShogunSports.com. The sled, sled strap, Nordex, tib bar, match, grippers, the reverse squat. I didn't put that reverse squat in there because I was like, I wanted just the basic essentials for knee health, and I feel like I did that. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace out. Nap time, 317. <laughs> I got you, bro. I appreciate you.